Hey, hey, Cosmic Superstars. Welcome to Honest Flow, a channel where we have open and honest conversations to hopefully share new insights, plant new seeds, um, and just really getting you to think a little bit more and hopefully expand your mind. My name is Tao and I am your virtual host in this space. Now, first and foremost, I want to put out there that this message may not relate to or resonate with everyone and actually this message was more of a channeled message or guidance that I had received for myself and I almost feel like I should share it with others too in case there are people who are on the similar wavelength as me and on the same path or stage as me so let me explain I am at a stage in my life where I am trying to build or establish my business. I'm at the very early stages, actually. And just to rewind and give you a very quick, short snapshot of what has happened. Um, last year, I actually left the corporate world. Now, I've been in the workforce for two decades now. I'm actually 40. Surprise. Um, yeah, so I've been in the workforce for quite a long time. And the last decade, the last 10 years, I was more in corporate, whereas the decade before that I was in a whole bunch of different industries so I would say I have a lot of skill sets now last year as mentioned I did leave the corporate world and I actually took a bit of a long break I would say about six seven plus months to basically find balance basically recalibrate basically regulate my nervous system because what I realized was I had been running on adrenaline and survival mode for most of my life and I really needed time out to really slow that down and the only reason or how I knew that I was ready to work again was when or let me rephrase how I knew that I had balanced my nervous system was when I woke up not stressed when I woke up feeling okay with sleeping in when I woke up feeling like it was okay to take it slow because prior to that I would find that every day I would wake up with anxiety every day I would wake up anxious about work thinking about work 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 and work right and until I got to the stage where I woke up just relax and like yeah whatever happens happens that's when I knew I had fully regulated my nervous system and I was back in balance and I was okay with taking it slowly. So that's kind of what happened. Now, in late April of this year, I decided to really focus on building my business, which is my spiritual business, which is Honest Flow. And yeah, that's where I'm at. Now, over the last few months, I have met with all kinds of people and I've also noticed that there are people who kind of want to I guess join me on the journey and sadly I'm not ready for that and I'm not meant to let these people join me right now this is not to say that I will not seek or need their help or I'm not willing to help them it's just that it's not time right now. And the message I want to share that I received for myself is you must first walk the path alone. You must first travel solo so that you can hone in all your energy, direct all your energy into building very strong, firm foundations. It's about getting the stability right, getting the structure right. And only after you've built that structure and got some momentum for yourself, then you bring the others along. Then you help others. You cannot try to build a boat or ship or vessel for yourself. And then while you're sort of building the base and all that, other people come along and say, hey, I noticed you're really good at building this base. Can you come along and help build the base for my boat too or my ship too? Because what happens is you get distracted, you redirect your energy helping someone else and then they actually end up finishing their project before you because they've got double manpower. They've got you and themselves, right? And then you end up just having this half-finished boat or vessel. So that's what I'm trying to say here. When you're at the early stages of your business, you need to really focus. 
in on really establishing it, grounding it, really manifesting it into this reality. And after you've built that foundation, then you can bring others along. Then you can collaborate more with others. But at the early stages, it's important that we focus on yeah, ourselves, make ourselves our project, our number one priority. And afterwards, you can collaborate with us. Afterwards, you can co-create with others. But it's not a good idea. At least this is the guidance that I'm receiving. It's not a good idea to help others when you're at the early stages of building your own business because it's highly distracting and it slows you down. So yeah, that's something I really wanted to share. And I want you to also understand that Sometimes if you choose to collaborate with others, you might lose yourself. Let's say you're building a business and you kind of know or have this vision or focus of where you want to go and who you want to be. But then you on the side decide to join this community and help this community grow as well. And obviously, when you're in a community, you have to be a little bit more respectful of everyone. You have to think about others. And because of that, you don't ever want to rock the boat, right? And what happens is then you kind of lose your identity in a group. You lose your identity in a community because you're trying to keep the peace. And if you're someone who has a very clear vision of who you are, who you're wanting to be, yet you enter this community and you have to let go of that identity that's probably not a good sign because that means you're not operating in your highest or fullest potential. If you have to dim yourself down, play dumb, play small to please the community, to make sure that everybody gets an even, you know, gets even gifts or even shares or whatnot, that's not a good start for you. So yeah, it's all about really honing in on who you are and your project first and foremost. And after, after then, once you've sort of established yourself, once you've sort of moved a bit along the road and build momentum and build your own clientele base, client base, then you can enter these communities as this stronger person, as this person who this is who I am because this is what I've built over here. I am this leader. I am this person. But if you're at the early stages and you enter these communities, you might find that you delay who you are or who you're trying to become. I hope I am making sense. But yeah, that's something you need to know. And also something I want to also caution people with is when you're building something from your, for yourself, there can be people who want to come in and, you know, support you. And I, I do these little quotation masks because it's how, how can I say this I don't want people to think that we should not be collaborating or allowing others to support us but there comes again a time sometimes you need to build certain foundations for yourself and sort of attract your own clientele for the purposes of yeah just creating something for yourself I mean oh. Um, oh, sorry, I've just lost my train of thought. I am on the ADHD spectrum, guys. So once I lose something, sometimes it's very hard for me to find the, the thought because it's gone, boo, jumped out of the boat. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out how to explain this thing that could happen. So sometimes people may come in offering to support or help you to grow your business. However, you yourself may know that you're quite capable and you yourself may know that you have natural magnetizing power. You actually have never had trouble attracting clients and people to you. However, you might have some people who come along on the sidelines, come and say, let me help grow your business. And then let's say they introduce one or two people to you, yet you've also got your own thing going on in the background. And then let's say you do really well. And these people who offered, I guess, some support or minimal support to you will then claim that the reason you have excelled or succeeded or moved 
afford is because of them. And that's just something I want to sort of caution you guys on. Be careful who you allow to help you because some people aren't really there to help you. They're really just there to pretend that, yeah, I celebrated you. I, you know, I supported you with this and that because they're really only supporting you because they want to take credit later down the track because they actually see your potential they actually know they can tell that you're going to do well later so they want to come in at these early stages and pretend to support you mind you they haven't you know bought one of your surface paid for any of your services and you know they haven't really attended anything or done anything out of the ordinary they're just like oh let me support you in the background let me offer support but really they haven't done that much yet these are the very same people who once you do really well once you have achieved a lot for yourself or succeeded they're going to be like I was there for Tao I helped her yeah and that's another thing that I want you to be mindful of that's why like I said in the early stages of building your business just be careful who you accept support from and this is not to say you don't accept support from anybody because of course you need support you need the people but I think you will have a good feeling of who is actually there for you because these are the people that have always been there for you when you had nothing when you started with nothing when you weren't even building a business they were always there for you they were always cheering you on but the ones that come out of nowhere out of the blue out of the woodworks and suddenly are all you know cheering you on when you never notice them cheering you on when you had nothing just be mindful of those people okay anyway I hope what I'm saying makes sense but this is not a message for everyone this is a message more so for those of you who are building something for yourself and just being aware of when it's time to collaborate and when it's time to not collaborate collaborate when it's time to actually do the work yourself first so you get that momentum so you can get the base the foundation right and then once you've got that foundation then branch out connect with others help others definitely I'm all about supporting other people and helping them grow but you cannot help another until you've helped yourself first it's like that whole thing when you're on a plane and they throw you down the oxygen mask who do you help first? Yourself, then the person next to you. So help yourself first, then help the ones next to you. And also know that if you're joining any community or collaborating with any group, just know that if you're more often than not having to dim your light, dim your skills, pull back to keep the peace and you know please others, it's probably not a healthy environment because it means that you're dimming your light. It means that you're not tapping into your fullest potential and as someone creating your own business, you need to be in that more empowered state, the most empowered state to really flourish and grow your business. Okay. So yeah, I hope that made sense. And I'm definitely going to be taking those you know, little gems, uh, universal gems that I received for myself, like taking on those tips. Ugh, who cares? I'm delirious now and it's time to eat. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.